Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video I want to show you a few examples of laser engraving on different PLA plastics. So we have, you see, different varieties, so uh, that's bad <laughs> examples uh, when we did, uh, when we 3D printed our laser boxes. So uh, yeah, let's start with engraving uh, white color plastics we did engraving using a 10 watt GPSS laser model let's see what we can do with a diode one we are going to use our dynamic uh, PWM system so I can adjust power while uh, it's working from minimum to maximum so that I don't need to run G code all the time so I just can adjust and uh, then I'll be able to see the result which laser power works the best for my uh, my uh, uh, for my expectations so we need to put this here and I'm going to set up speed of um, 500 uh, millimeters per minute and we're going to engrave our heart shape so now I can adjust the power so you see that it becomes lighter and I scroll it back okay let's see oh, well well white color is not good for it so it's melting it's burning but uh, didn't well I don't like the result here well, maybe we can try gray one and we'll see okay, and I adjust power Okay. okay also it melts a little bit but probably I can do it in the middle power let's see if that works better just keep you updated we use our 10 watt deluxe laser here okay yeah, this result is better. Look, you can see. And um, yeah, the power was turned somewhere in the in the middle. Yeah, so you don't need to adjust the G code. You can just um, turn r right and left our dynamic PWM system, our switch and get the power you need yeah I can, I can see it quite well let's try this piece also we start with the minimum and I slightly increase it yeah, I don't Oh, I don't see anything good in here. Probably that will not work. Here on green, I get some good results before. Let's see if I can if I can repeat it. Oh yeah, so this green looks pretty good. This is quite heavy and thick, but here I think it should work probably. The switch should be in this position. Let's see.
Okay, I think I need a little bit more power. Let's do one more. Okay, yeah, this looks good. Looks good. And yeah, that's, that's quite nice. Uh, black one, well, to be honest, I did not... Oh no, I did have good results here. Uh, maybe it was the same parameters here. Maybe I can adjust a little bit less. Oh, and let's do a test here. Oh yeah, that's, that's, that's good. That was not right. So yeah, you can engrave on black delay quite, quite well. Okay, what we have here? We have brown. And let's see if the same parameters will work good for brown plastics. So, looks good. Yeah, I like it. And the last, we get some tests before here. We'll use the same parameters as we did for black and brown. No, nothing. Okay, let's increase it a bit. That looks good. I think I can make it even better. So I'll make even more power. So as you can see, all types of plastics, they require their own settings. So it's like reprinting. So all plastics are different. But no, it's, it's good. So yeah, you can see uh, that you can do really nice uh, laser engravings with diode, 10 watt, invincible or deluxe laser. You don't need an air assist for this engraving. And yeah, I would recommend you to use our dynamic PWM uh, system so that, you, so that you can adjust power without uh, extra spending time on generating g-code so it's like very very comfortable and very convenient so hope that you like this video please share it with your friends have wonderful experience with endurance lasers and don't forget to visit our website endurancelasers.com and our online store endurance-lasers.com all comments under this video are more than welcome bye bye